Okay, good afternoon everyone, and here we are. A slightly new location, secret location I'm filming from today, and we're going to be talking about a new wine. This is going to be a red wine today, and today the red wine we're going to be talking about is the Corder Family Vineyards Elgin Pinot Noir. It's a cool climate Pinot Noir. It's from South Africa. It's a 2014 vintage wine. Now, uh, this was not the wine I initially had planned to do this week, but that wine is not with me, and so I've had to find this wine. This is a wine that we're going to taste. Uh, I've never tried it before. It's a bit wacky and it's a bit different because of where it comes from and what it is and the kind of variety that it is. So, we are talking about South Africa here. We're talking about the Western Cape, specifically the Cape South Coast, okay, and the Elgin Valley. The Elgin Valley uh, is famous for actually growing apples and pears and I'm reliably informed up to 60% of South Africa's apples come from this one valley in South Africa. So it's just to the southeast of Cape Town, about 70 kilometres away, and imagine a piece of land which has mountains almost entirely around it. It's like a big donut and inside it is a plateau at about 300 meters above sea level and that is the Elgin Valley and it has the Hottentots Holland range around it and south east running down it this side you have the Bot River and that separates it from probably one of the more famous and probably the premier production area of South Africa which is Walker Bay, um, Hermanus and Hemelanard and okay the I'm sure the Stellenbosch crews will be, the heavies will be out for me for that one. But have a little look at Crystal and Wines and Hamilton Russell Vineyards, amazing producers there. I still love Stellenbosch, I still love Ken Forrester Wines, I still love Mirlust. But I think down to this slightly cooler part of South Africa, you get some incredible wines. And this is something that I've never tried because it's a Pinot Noir. And Pinot Noir is not something that you will necessarily find that heavily planted in South Africa because it doesn't do as well in really hot heat. It does not do well. It's a very thin skin type of grape. Now if I click my fingers, you should have just seen the location in the country and then the actual Elgin Valley area itself. Um, let's just get to trying it, why not, let's just try the wine, I think. Uh, now, Pinot Noir, very thin skinned, it is a light bodied red wine, um, it has very high acidity but very low tannins, so I'm expecting this to be quite light in colour, which it is, it almost looks like Ribena. Those of you who are not from the UK, Ribena is blackcurrant cordial, but let's not get into that. Anyway. Remember what we're going to do, we're going to look at it, we're going to sniff it, we're going to swill it, then we're going to taste it. It's simple as that. Okay, so if we look at it, if you have a little look at it there, I mean just bright red, really pale. Okay, a little swell. Oh wow. Yeah, lots of... I don't even know if this is the right glass for it, so let's see. It's loads of red fruit. It's potentially a little bit more jammier than uh, a burgundy, but it's cherries, it's strawberries, it's violets, um, certainly raspberry. It's a little bit of spice on the nose there as well. Not nutmeg though, a bit of clove maybe. It's a little bit earthy, but it, it smells light and lively, bright, acidic. Okay. We'll do that little glass of water. It's incredibly savoury, like it's not, 
deep fruity. And this has not been out very long. It's not super chilled either. Very savoury, very vegetal, very mushroomy, clovey, definitely. Maybe even a yeah, hint of vanilla in there as well. Lots of strawberry, light strawberry jam, light cherries. I don't think much wood, Not no oak I don't think. I mean it has started, and I don't know if you can see that there, it has started to catch that sort of what they call garnet ring around the outside. So maybe it is light garnet, but it's... Oh, it's really refined, it's very, very pure and simple and light and lively it's not it's not very deep and complex it is, it is a, a lively and bright tasting red wine the Corder family estate uh, is about 40 hectares but only 14 15 hectares of that is under vine the rest is pears and apples and plums and things like that so it is a small producer uh, they sit on the plateau on these southeastern rolling hills not dissimilar to how the rolling hills of Burgundy work, but it is a much more intense climate. They get really heavy mists that roll in off the sea, and uh, it gives it this, from False Bay, I believe, is the area just to the south, this really nice, um, cooling environment for which the grapes can take a really long time to uh, mature and to ripen. It is probably one of the latest places for harvesting in South Africa. Uh, I'm not going to treat you to my um, my uh, accent because I don't think that's really going to help. But maybe we'll go into Pinot Noir a little bit, and I'm not going to start impersonating any South Africans just yet. But Pinot Noir is one of those grapes that is probably most talked about <laughs> in the world about the pure representation of what it should be. It's very light in style and Pinot Noir from South Africa, from New Zealand, is very different to Pinot Noir from France, especially from Burgundy. But I don't have enough time to be able to tell you what the big varietal difference and clone differences to, to grapes are like. What I would say is that this grape is one of the oldest grapes in the world, if not the oldest grape of the world that we know about. Um, Pinot also means pinecone in French, so there is some debate on the etymology of Pinot Noir, whether it comes from the pine cone in French or from, say, towns like Pignol in the Auvergne, where they've been producing Pinot Noir since medieval times. This is incredibly soft. It is it's ready to drink now. And if you can find some Elgin Valley Pinot Noirs around about this age, I suggest you try and find them for this kind of weather. This is light meats. It is uh, not really barbecue weather for me. I don't think this is a, a barbecue wine. I think it's too refined for that. But I think light roasted meats with salads and just really natural sort of boiled potatoes and things like that. You could get away with a nice cheese as well. But it just requires simplicity. It is not overtly complex. It's not blended with other grapes. You have something here that is just a beautiful glass of red wine. It's incredibly bright. The red fruit is really, really prominent and enjoyable, I would say. Maybe it's starting to, to age that little bit, so you get a little bit of leather to it as well now. It's a fantastic wine. You know, if you were to do a really nice garlicky roast chicken that would work really well with some herbs I would say you could even get away with duck with that as well roast duck duck confit would be nice as well with a salad anything with a little bit of mustard to it as well would work really nicely just to give that a counterbalance of heat and that's the wine it's the Corder family cool climate Pinot Noir from 2014 from the Elgin Valley it's a sensational wine cheers